Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. Well, once again, at the wonderful community of Ventana in Bolverde, Texas, right off 46 and Blanco Road. I really do like this community. You're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but not too far from anything you want to be at. The house behind me is built by Monticello. This is new construction. It's an inventory home that's a few weeks away from being completed. And in my opinion, that's the best time to get a great deal on a new home. This is the Edmund plan. It is a four bedroom, three bath, almost 3,000 square foot house. And it's on the market for just a hair under 700,000. Yeah, that number sounds a little high, but they have some great incentives going on right now. $25,000 off the price or uh, lock in at a 4.99 interest rate fixed, not a, a variable rate. So this is a great time in the market. As we're filming it, it is uh, mid-May 2023. Builders, well, they're willing to negotiate. Anyways, let's talk less of me talking. Let's go check out this house. Now I've already walked through this house and it is beautiful. Love the three car garage. This is on a 70 foot lot. That's why they can build these really wide houses. And as you can tell, there's some gorgeous homes around it. Uh, this community does have a mud tax, which does bring your property taxes up to 2.77, but that is still cheaper than Bear County. So this is uh, Comel County right here. So uh, yeah, the mud tax does push it up a little bit, but like I said, not as much as Bear County. But I love Monticello as a builder. They're one of my favorites. And this house is beautiful. I love the landscaping. They just put new flooring in it. So yeah, let's head on inside. It's a big, beautiful door right there. Oh, Monticello Homes. Now remember, I have no loyalty to any builders, but there are certain builders I don't mind promoting because they've always done my clients right. So uh, my reputation matters as well. So that's why I'm happy to promote Monticello because they're one of my favorite builders. All right, look how tall these ceilings are, this big wide open spaces. This flooring did just get put in. But yeah, this is a beautifully done plan. Lots of space. Uh, speaking of space, let's go check out this garage. Uh, someday, I myself will have a three-car garage, but we're working on that. But for now, I'm in a two-car garage. But this is really nice. I'd love to have this kind of space. Uh, Monticello does put standard tankless water heaters in. It is plumb for water softener. But yeah, uh, so many of my clients call me up and say, I, Three car garage is a must have, and I kind of like that too. Got your little mud room, perfect place to put your, take your shoes off, hang some backpacks and store some uh, rain gear up there. Really good size laundry room. All right, we're gonna show you these bedrooms up here on the front of the house. Including the first full bath. Love the tile work that they did. Uh, Monticello does the mud inset showers, so they're going down built into the foundation. They were a little playful with the tiles. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like it or not. I kind of do. All right, let's go and check out this bedroom. Nothing special about this bedroom. Uh, got the builders light up there, so, and when I'm Ed, talking to my clients, I always tell them, put, let the builders put their light in because for a fraction of the price, you can go down, pick out your own ceiling fan and have someone else install it compared to what the builder will do. But good size closet. And we've got two more bedrooms. I'll hit that bathroom on the way out. But this is really nice. Well, shaped a little different than the other one, but it looks like about the same size. But the closet's just a little different. A little bigger, actually. All right, and the third bedroom all kind of right together. Now this house faces west, and in my personal opinion, that's the best way so your backyard stays shaded. Remember, I mentioned it's mid to late May. Temperatures are starting to rise, and uh, yeah, if you wanna be having a little happy hour on your back porch, um, as I'm filming this, what are we at? Four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, you can see the shade start to already creep up 
Maybe stay shade expanding on your backyard versus uh, your shade going away. But this is another good sized bathroom for all these three bedrooms to share. Very nicely done. I don't know if they all need to share it. I guess you can have someone share, if you got three kids, two of them can share that bathroom and let somebody else have this one. Uh, that's up to you. All right, we got a really nice flex room. Uh, you can use this as a formal dining room, use it as a movie room, entertainment space, pool table, whatever you want to do. But it's nice having flex rooms. A lot of builders are doing flex rooms now and uh, it makes things real convenient because every, every family has a little bit different need. Coming into the main living space and talk about space, there's a lot of it here. Beautiful island. I love the dark blue contrasting with everything else. This kind of jumps out. Plenty of cabinet space. We do have Whirlpool appliances. Got your oven, built-in microwave. Your kind of standard corner pantry. But this is a gas community, so here you go. And a nice cooked oven. I'm gonna turn some light on here. There we go, that looks better. Big single basin farm sink. Loving that. That looks really nice, especially the white on the blue there. I've got a potential client who this house might be a good fit for. That's why I'm doing this video. But this can be your main living space up there. You can see where it's already got all the pass-throughs set up for putting your TV mounted so you don't have any wires showing. So that's really nice to have. All right, let's go on over here. And the reason why I'm like, you don't need to use that flex room as a dining room because this breakfast nook is plenty big for however big of a table you could possibly dream of having in there. So lots of space and you're surrounded by beautiful lights. If you can see through the windows, you can tell why I really like this house. And that is this backyard. And I hinted about it a little bit earlier about where the sun's facing. Right now, it's not so hot out here because I'm on the shaded patio and the shade you see is gonna just keep creeping out and growing. This is a green space lot. Nobody's ever gonna build behind you. So if you want that privacy and uh, just natural Texas Hill Country behind you, that this is the way to go. And listen to this. I don't hear anything. So super quiet out here, very nice. I hear some birds chirping, but yeah, really nice out here. Perfect place, just kind of a chill. Little tongue and groove uh, ceiling cover. But I'll say off in the distance, I do hear a car moving. But yeah, that's very off in the distance. All right. Let's go ahead into the master bedroom. So I'll grip. My boot's got some rocks in it now, or on the soles of it, make some noise. All right, here comes your master bedroom. Once again, lots of great lighting. Kind of your kind of stock builder's fan there. But beautiful, we got the eight foot doors in, in this room. This bathroom is huge. All sorts of space in this bathroom. Beautiful freestanding tub. His and her vanities. I said, uh, if clear window, you might want to put a little blinds up there if you want to, because yeah, if you stand up, you, there's the neighbor's yard. All right, let's look at this shower here. This is a beautifully done shower. Same flooring as that first one, but a little bit different. Oh, they want two-tone. They want rock on the, a little gray rock on the back and the white there. Don't see that too often, I like it. All right, this closet's massive. So you got your shoe rack right when you come in. And then this just closet just keeps going. So you definitely got kind of a his and her side, but both sides are big. Very cool. 
So we have plenty of closet space in this house. And a water closet, plenty of space in there too. I hate it when you feel a little crowded. That one had plenty of space in it. All right, last look at the main living space here. I love how wide and grand this little entryway is coming in. All right, that's gonna wrap up tour of this Edmund plan built by Monticello. It's on the market now as of 19 May, 2023. So please don't ask me if the house is available if the year is 2025. It would have been sold by then. But it's a great time to buy it. The builders are giving plenty of incentives, 25K off asking price or 4.99 interest rates fixed. So if you're interested in this beautiful home, remember they're asking pretty close to 700,000 for it, but four bedroom, three bath, almost 3,000 square foot home, and that backyard for privacy and quiet, it's hard to beat that. And it's a beautiful Texas Hill Country. I love it out here. You're about 25 minutes from here to New Braunfels and about 15 minute drive to Bernie, Texas. All right, if you got any questions, guys, I'm here for you. Of course, I want you to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, share these videos with your friends and family. I'm a local real estate agent and it costs you nothing to use a realtor for a production home. So feel free to give me a call. Talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.